Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. She was not too shy telling him about himself. She went high but she still let homeboy know he was out of line. In actuality, Kimmel's inappropriateness has some history through it too. In two separate interviews, he asked President Obama whether or not he and Michelle made love the night Osama bin Laden was captured and killed. He asked Mrs Obama on her book tour, promoting becoming. Then he asked President Obama, who said he'd need to ask Michelle that. It's not a question, regardless of who he posed it to or how he sliced it. I don't know the connection between the previous first couple and Jimmy Kimmel, but albeit they're close, it's clear these two didn't want to debate their intimate life on a national stage. And as far as I do know, with the exception of Donald Trump's leaked audio about sexual abuse, no president has been asked about their sexual behaviour, especially with the first lady involved. It's wildly inappropriate and therefore the in controvertible fact that Kimmel did this not once, not twice, but on three different occasions. It was time he got told. And Auntie Shell did what needed to be done. She appeared on Kimmel's show to market her new Netflix children's series, Waffles and Moshi. It had been during that segment, Kimmel said, you're on your book tour. We had an excellent talk. It had been tons of fun and everybody was very excited to ascertain you. I asked you an issue that night and that I actually asked your husband this question also and he kicked it back to you. I asked you on that night that SEAL Team 6 took out Osama bin Laden at your husband's order. Did you and your husband roll in the hay that night to celebrate? Obama initially played it cool, saying she was still pleading the fifth. On the other hand, I assume she considered being presented thereupon bullshit once more and decided to show the entire thing back on Kimmel. You know, I even have to inform your audience that, for a few very sick reasons, you're very hooked into this portion of that major historical event, Michelle said. No one else, nobody, within the history of all of the conversations I've had, has ever drilled down on this particular point such as you, Jimmy Kimmel, she said. So I'll turn that back on you. She continued jokingly, you're still that tiny boy in your bedroom under the duvet with the flashlight going, I hope nobody sees me. All of this was said with a touch of humour, but I still think the message is obvious. Drop it. You can see how it all went down within the video below. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.